Hello everyone, uh, my name is Charlie, or some people might know me as Senior Mars, and today I'm going to be making a video of just essentially just showcasing uh, how I write my math notes or complete my math homework as a math major in college uh, using Vim and LaTeX. Uh, so essentially, um, one of the things I've always, you know, viewed myself as is, or recognized a uh, quality about myself is that I don't have the best handwriting, um, and this is kind of a problem because especially in math, you kind of just want to be writing down the notes, uh, but you want to be able to reread the notes, especially when you're trying to solve problems later on in a P set. You're going to need those definitions. You're going to need everything. And it's and it's really nice that we have the textbook, but sometimes the textbook doesn't really go over solution, like uh, how to prove something. So you're just going to have to like make sure your notes allow you to do that. Um, so in this case, I just wanted to make like show people how I essentially do write my notes, not by, you know, by personally handwriting everything, but uh, just typing everything up um, during class and also doing my P sets, um, well, just typing everything my P sets up. Um, so, you know, I just want to make it clear also that this is not a tutorial, but more like, like uh, how I do things in general. Um, I think this is really going to be nice because sometimes, you know, as long as you are you understand that there's a way to do this, you can do it. And that's essentially what I want to show. Um, so uh, for this example, I'm going to be just showing you one of my uh, uh, math classes, um, Math 354, Honors Linal, or Honors Linear Algebra, uh, and how I essentially do things. Um, so the first thing I kind of want to show is essentially uh, this is, um, so this we're in week like five right now. And in week five, I've been just having, and, and during the past five weeks, I've been just typing all my notes up. Um, and I got into the point where my notes look something like this. Um, and actually, I already have it here. So let me just close down that window. Uh, so this, these, are what, these are what my notes look like. Um, I think they look really nice. And hopefully, you agree. Um, in case you're wondering how I made my law tech document, look like this I'll go on a bit um but yeah so let's just let's just get started uh, so this is a problem set um that is due this Friday so thankfully I, I got an extension and we're gonna be able to just move on ahead um so and essentially what I, I I do is you know I do everything on terminal um so I essentially uh just have a directory here that uh, where I just put my, uh, essentially all my P sets, my tests, and my notes. Um, and what I would like to do is just do something like P set four. I, I created a directory with P set four. Um, and then I essentially just copy down my personal template that I made. So in case you're wondering, my personal template, uh, github.com, uh, Charlie Mars, there we go. This is my personal template. Um, um, I will be sharing the link in the description, of course. Uh, but essentially, my personal template just takes a lot of inspiration about these two sources. You can get a look in, more into them. Uh, and essentially, all you have to do is just copy these three files, or four files, and then into some directory. And then you can just edit template.txt. You can also rename template.txt to whatever you want. Um, and essentially, what I'm going to be showing you is how I use this template to quickly write my math um, notes in real time, which I think should be really useful for a lot. Um, if you just want to see how the template looks in general, I put like a random examples right here, but I won't go into that because I will be showing you how I do this. Uh, so once I copy kind of everything down, um, I can start editing um, the LaTeX file with uh, my text editor. And my text editor is called Vim. Um, and Vim is extremely useful for um, not taking things. Uh, so once I, you know, I open up a document, um, put, you know, change my name with like, or like, you know, set up the, like the template. Um, I essentially start to, uh, you know, just do some quick little edits in my template. Um, and then, and then I start to 
really, really just get into it. Um, so because um, BIM and BIM and a plugin I use, um, which everything just kind of operates on this thing, um, and the plugin is called BIM Tex, uh, which is an amazing plugin if you use uh, BIM and want to do something, uh, want to use Autech. Um, I would honestly really recommend it. It allows you to essentially just uh, continuous compile uh, your document in the background and then just have it automatically appear um, in your PDF viewer if your PDF viewer supports that. Um, so essentially what I do is first I um, do a Vim text compile. And then what I do is, uh, and I'm going to get this little error because in the Mac OS, if you're using um, these things in Linux, you won't get this error. Unfortunately, I've been trying to search how to find this problem out, but it's not, um, I haven't found a great solution yet. Uh, and then I'm essentially, and then I have this keybind um, in the meantime. Um, and here's my keybind that essentially just starts up this, my PDF viewer, which is called Sephora, uh, and then just opens up the, the, the template uh, or like uh, the name of the PDF in the background. Um, so once I do that and then just press, and let me just um, make sure that everyone can view my keys. Um, and there we go. Uh, and start, yeah, okay. So in the bottom right, you should be able to see my keys. So once I press, I have this keybind shortcut. Once I press uh, Clone Q, um, I can now see my problem set. Um, and again, this is only just the, like just the title, uh, but that already is really nice. Um, and then essentially I just go to my PSET and then use this other tool. Uh, essentially what I, 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 you know, most of my math professors actually do write their uh, their questions um, in LaTeX as well. So I wanna be able to like essentially just copy and paste that um, and just be able to uh, paste it in. So I use this tool called Math Pix. I, I think that's what you call it. Um, and essentially it allows me to, um, to just, you know, like, uh, kind of convert all this text that's clearly in LaTeX um, to LaTeX code, and then I can paste it in. So what I do is just do that, um, and then go back here, and then just press this copy button. And now we have essentially all the, the problems in my uh, thing. Uh, but because I use this custom, um, I guess, this custom, a template, I like to, you know, make them a bit more fancier. Uh, and the way I do that is just doing by just setting up uh, my questions like this and then just uh, doing that. Uh, and then just, you know, I always get 10 questions per problem set. So I kind of know how many questions I have. Um, and all I do is essentially convert um, everything that the problem set was given to us to LaTeX. Uh, and it seems that for this one, we have something like this. So that's cool. Um, and then there we go. Uh, and I'm going to quickly do this. Uh, I know it's taking some time, but you know, it just shows you how, how much bit of effort it takes uh but essentially uh just because i'm a bit nervous this is taking a little bit more time than i like to um in class i'm pretty fast and i think you will be able to see that in my next example um so let's just you know do this uh and then that should be fine as well and it looks like i made one more uh, so once we have that and once we compile it, um, our document should look brand new and there we go. So you can see there, once we, um, use this 
new, uh, I guess, macro we made called, which stands for question. Um, and you can see how it's defined. Uh, again, this, this, a lot of the code is um, taken from all sources, um, but I made it more or less mine. Um, you can see that it, it, it just looks really nice. And then I have essentially just this uh, other macro um, that allows me to just write up um, proofs uh, or like make my proofs look really nice. So for example, um, now, and once I kind of have that down, um, I really just want to write my, you know, my type up, type up my solutions that I wrote in paper to LaTeX. Um, so I, I have a lot of snippets and these snippets allow me to do something like this. Um, so if I ever press something like ALI, it automatically converts to um, a, uh, well, into this uh, Alliance star environment, which is really nice because now I can just, uh, you know, save it and it should compile and look nice. Um, and then another thing I have is, um, so I use a thing called GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot, it's meant for essentially auto-completing and assisting your code. Um, for something like, like math, it really doesn't work really well. Like it won't give you a, Good, like a right solution for a proof, but it allows you to essentially just skip a lot of the bowler template that you have to write, uh, which is nice. Uh, so like we were saying, like, so we are given uh, the following um, and now we have to prove that uh, these polynomials are the basis of, um, and I don't know what that character is, so let's look at it. Uh, yes. Um, and you see that? Um, I didn't know, really know what that character was, but just using be able to tab complete with uh, GitHub Copilot allowed me to essentially do that fast. Um, and essentially, um, in class, I have these things. Well, I already have, I memorized all my, what we call snippets. Um, and let me just show you that real quick. Um, these snippets are, are from um, this article. And essentially uh, what this article, it really inspired me to uh, do this um, because this person was able to write all his map, like his four years of, of uh, his math major um, in BIM and LaTeX. And I was like, I can do that too. Um, so he, in this tutorial, he just kind of goes over uh, his snippets. Um, let me see if I can find them. Uh, his, his snippet should be somewhere around here. I uh, should have gotten this. Uh, but essentially, yeah, okay. You, all his snippets are here and I've been using them because they're really useful. Uh, so just for example, if I press EM, it automatically lets me go into display mode so I can do something like, um, uh, I can automatically do something like um, F is equal to sum of that. And so once I just start auto completing, um, it just really goes fast and I can write something like that in a second. Uh, the other thing that we have right here is, especially when you're writing long equations, you want to make it look pretty. Um, so once we're in math mode, um, the, the creator of those snippets really thought about it and he was like, we have so many uh, things we have to do. Um, so for example, in linear algebra, you're mostly gonna have to do something like this. So I created a snippet that allows me to essentially just write, um, and let me just do display mode. Uh, 
that allows me to essentially just, you know, pull up these elements as such. Uh, this creates, uh, you know, a list of vectors. And then we have uh, something like this. Um, and at one point, I had a problem set that expected me to do uh, to sorry um to just uh prove that this is true um and as you can see like it just like once you just memorize your snippets and macros it just goes really fast um i'm just not showing it because i'm a bit camera shy but uh here you can start taking a look that i can write um Logitech extremely fast and it looks really nice um, and because of the way I essentially wrote my template um, I have you know just for example um, just start around that um, I have something like this and I can quickly just and let me just, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Um, but essentially what my template ends up looking like is something like this. Um, once you really just like learn on how to use it. Um, so this is the, the proof of the fundamental theorem of linear maps, um, which, you know, is a, I guess, really important here. Uh, linear algebra since it's called fundamental uh, has a word fundamental and you can see how nice it really looks um i really spent a lot of time just making it through um and you know even my qed is a really smiley face so as you can see um it is really useful and so you might be wondering why don't i just handwrite everything and as a reminder um i kind of said this at the beginning but the reason is um I've gotten, I got into the point where I can actually just write everything down and keep up with my math professor and also be able to think about it. Um, and I can argue that honestly, at one point, uh, with handwriting, you're only just writing notes and you also have to like spend a little time to think about it. And I can do that by typing as well. So it doesn't really affect me. And another benefit is, especially when I'm writing just notes in class, um, what I end up seeing is that, that this effort is worth it because whenever I go through my problem sets, I can literally just go through the definitions um, on my PDF. Um, and I, because, you know, this is essentially just typed, I can just copy my code um, to, for a specific, you know, uh, definition or something. Um, so I don't have to keep rewriting a lot of things and I have a lot of like, you know, older plate, uh, for example, uh, in my original template, um, I am a math major, but I do some computer science as well. Um, and in my original template, uh, I'd like a, a little template for me for, to write algorithms. And let me just show you how that looks as well. This is how, like, you know, an algorithm would look in my temp. Oh, using like, you know, my custom template and just some customization on this package called algorithm E, um, which is really nice. And yeah, that's essentially all I wanted to show. Like, uh, once you have the snippet sound, once you have like uh, these things, you're gonna be fast. And although it may take a little work, uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, there's a bunch of resources. Uh, you can learn online and I have my, you know, my snippets as well. Um, and I have, uh, everything that I'm using online in my dot files. So if you ever just want to take a look at that, you're more than welcome to. Um, and all you really have to do is just be able to type. Um, and of course do math. Um, and it's just so handy, uh, because it really like, like once you just get really comfortable with it, I assure you, you're gonna be fast. You're gonna be really fast, uh, especially if you use a text editor like Vim, um, that allows you to like, uh, essentially just like look at your code and also kind of render it using you know uh, 
all these symbols. It's so nice. Um, so that's all I wanted to talk about. Hopefully you gain a bit of inspiration um, and that was a bit useful. Uh, sorry for the background noise. But yeah, that'll be it. Thank you so much.